Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have something absolutely bonkers to show you. This is, this has got that wow factor. This is the 2024 Salem FSX 30 VC view. And this is going to be a toy hauler that on the inside, honestly, it looks beautiful. It's got flip up countertops. It's got massive viewing windows, big old nightshades that come down. And instead of having a TV, they actually have a projector. I mean, that is freaking nuts. Add in the fact that you got a hidden bunk or desk room, whatever you want to do. And I think this is a very well-rounded unit, whether it's for a family, people that want a toy hauler, or just someone that wants a back patio to kick back, relax, play some cards. This has a lot of versatility, very cool lineup. I'm down here at uh, Forest River and I'm gonna do a whole bunch of units. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of good stuff coming out in the day. I think four of these units are completely brand new. Uh, so a lot of good stuff coming. So I hope you guys like it. Hit that like and subscribe button. All the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes should be down in the description and it should pop up on the screen. But drop a comment, let me know what you think. I'm really intrigued to see how people uh, respond to this RV. I just love the fact Salem seems to be leading the way in innovation. They had the 42 view. Uh, that dropped, I believe, two years ago. That destination RV with all the windows up front, uh, that did wonders for me and my family. I sold a bunch of them, but on top of that, it really propelled a lot of my social media. And then they had the hidden bunk models, you know, in the Salem lineup. And now it's bleeding over into the FSX line where you see hidden bunks, massive video, uh, windows, innovations like that projector. I mean, it's just so neat to see where the RV industry is going now that things are slowing down just a tad. People got to be creative to sell a little bit more. But um, anyway, right here in this main room, you're going to notice you have a massive slide that opens this up to a whole bunch of walk around room. Obviously, being a toy hauler, you need a lot of openness, you know, back here in the back, which, by the way, six tie downs right here. So you can fit in, you know, your Harley or, um, you know, your four wheeler, things of that nature. But typically, that's where the openness, you know, kind of ends. You don't still get that kitchen, that homey kind of feel. So I like to see that they still have that. Another thing that's very interesting that I don't think I've seen before, especially on a, um, a camper that's going to be priced, you know, where this will be, you know, kind of more that towards that entry level toy hauler pricing, the countertop availability. So this right here, you snap that up. And then this one as well, it's a little hard to do with just one camera hand, but... I mean, what in the world? How freaking cool is that? I mean, I wish almost every camper with an island would do that because when you're not using this space, normally it's just wasted. It's not getting in the way of your view for the projector, which I'll show you that here in a second. It's actually on a motorized and you lower these two. Um, well, here, let me just show you right now. So you just hold this button right here and there's two of them, one for this window and one for that window. And then you can see the top end right there. That's kind of coming in. If I turn off the lights, it'll show up a little bit better, but that's your projector that actually lowers all the way down to the ground. And not only does it block out the sun, but it's just nice to not have that TV and they can use that wall, you know, for the windows. You can use it for a nice breeze if you want. They're all going to be tinted windows, by the way, as well. Uh, but I just really like the, the functionality of walking through here when you're not using the toy hauler, having the countertop space, whether it be games or, you know, prepping space. You have all the outlets in the world that you need. You have a light if you, can if you want to shut off the accent lighting for some reason. Uh, you're able to do that. The sofa over here, this is going to be kind of that theater seating style. So you get the cup holders and then you get the pull tabs for the recliner to kick up. You also have that, uh, I think they, I don't know why I'm blanking. Is that Ottoman? Is that what they call that? Um, the Ottoman, it's got a little storage there. It's pretty darn cool. Even big windows over here too. And again, they are tinted and they do, um, you know, block out the old son of when you're not needing it. Big old sound bar behind you. So instead of the sound facing out, it's behind you, which I think is pretty darn neat. And that projector, I mean, that is just, that is just too cool. So, I mean, imagine just sitting right here and this whole thing is one big movie at night. I think it's just pretty darn neat. Let me flip around here, give you a little view here, and then I'm going to do the back patio and then I'll come around and show you kind of the kitchen area. But, man, they are getting crazy. They're getting innovative, that's for sure. 
You have a little three seasons uh, screened in patio door. That's going to be nice for those spring, fall days, or just in, I guess really summer too, but uh, anytime you want to keep bugs out, but let a breeze in, or you can put the inserts in and completely block it all out for, you know, some of that colder weather camping. But I do dig a nice patio. I like that it's fenced in. I got some dogs. I throw them out here, set up a little table, play some euchre, have some brewskis, just have a good old time. You know, maybe just kick back and even just, you know, read a book with a good view. Good view, huh? Yeah, yeah. Got a little LED light right here. You are prepped up for an observation camera. So when you're driving down the road, you take off this plate, you install the Furion uh, observation camera, but essentially you'll be able to see, you know, what's going on behind you with some distance markers. So it's a nice little safety feature to have. So again, you got the nine tie downs for all your toys, flip up countertops. That's freaking crazy. You got the couch with the ottoman. Um, 12 volt refrigerator, which is going to be uncommon for a toy hauler, let alone um, at this price point in general. So the 12 volt refrigerator, if you're not familiar with it, essentially to run off of solar, your battery, your truck when you're driving down the road, um, doesn't run off propane. But what's nice about that is the fact that this is going to be more residential style. So it's just like the one inside your home as far as functionality. You know, the, fr the freezer keeping stuff frozen, the refrigerator uh, keeping stuff... Uh, <coughs> keep the stuff refrigerated it's just nicer to have than that gas and electric that's typically in those toy haulers looks like you got a little subwoofer in there with an outlet or some storage uh 84 inch tall interior so i think that is pretty darn nice so i'm six feet tall for reference gets the job done you got the black glass insert and then you have your fan top. So there's a fan and a light button right here so you can control that. The backdrop, it's looking pretty sharp. Uh, you know, nothing too crazy, but they did a good job. Solid surface countertops. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. But you're going to have a couple of these drawers, which are nice. See, that one's already heading towards a junk drawer, kind of like it would be at my house. That'll be your welcoming packet uh, once you get to the point, you know, you're at a dealership and purchasing one. But you have a USB, Universal C. You also have an outlet, three stovetop burner to whip up all the fixings. And then instead of going with an oven, it looks like they went with the convection here, which is cool. I thought that was a giraffe for a second. Doesn't that kind of look like a little giraffe? Would not want to microwave with giraffe mode, that is for sure. So right here, you got a little, little mini cutting board if you need it to, but it's uh, over top of your stain, stainless steel undermounted bowl hitting those dishes from all angles led lights underneath too just shining like justice looking pretty sharp and i like the fact that you get those cabinets right there i think it's really clean cut you get access to your storage but also compartmentalizes a little bit and again this does flip down so easy access to storage you know when it is uh down you know when it's up you got to get under there a little bit not a big deal and then if you do want to put a tv you got a spot right here along with the bracket, so that is pretty darn cool. So it doesn't have to have a TV. You can remove that, use this as kind of like a little Keurig drinking station, whatever you want to do, or you can double it up, projector, TV, you know, get your thing going. You also have those little cubbies up on the side for no wasted space. A little pendulant lighting hanging down. But let's go check out that mid bunk. I mean, look at all that countertop space. So right here, as you're walking through the hallway, you wouldn't know that there is a little bunk room right there. So I like the fact that they've got that. So you could use this for a whole bunch of stuff. You could use it for, you know, hidden storage or the bottom part. Um, you can open that up. You can drop this down into two bunk beds. It's a little bit tight in here, but I'll tell you, just for sleeping or some storage, a big hanging closet, a working desk, because you got that drop down. This room is awesome, and it's not wasted space because of how everything else is kind of positioned. You got an area where you can hang up a TV right here, along with the appropriate plugins. And if you are using it just for storage, you know, putting in some, uh, you know, I don't know, like tools or, you know, bike stuff. I, I don't know why, bike stuff, yeah. But um, you got a separate little uh, entrance right there that you can get in. Access it from the outside, so that's pretty neat. Here's where you control the heat and AC. You're gonna notice you get a big old window right here, and again, you do get the um, you do get a shade right there to help block out some of that sun. 
Heading into the bathroom, I like the fact that they put in an LED bar here as well. So that wasn't uh, something that was, you know, about a year ago when I was selling these things. Plastic foot flush throne. So right there, bada bing, bada boom. Let's hop in that shower for you. Six feet tall, 300 pounds. I'm fitting in here just fine. You also have this little uh, roller shade that you can pull in and out. So that's pretty cool. But I do really dig that LED light. I just think it makes it for a nice little glow. You know, brightens up the room quite a bit. Got a little area where you can let some uh, some air in and out. Got a little mirror. Whoosh. Suburban on-demand hot water heater. So that's going to be key if you want to take a little bit of a longer shower. Um, and it's instant hot water too, which is nice. I was told one time that it's 0.7 seconds, but I, I don't know. I haven't really had a chance to try that out yet. But I would say that's probably pretty incredibly fast. But either way, you know, even if it's only a couple seconds, heck, that's pretty darn nice. So heading into the bedroom, you are on the Versa Tilt system. So this started back with Salem. It's on a 14 inch lift in the back. Um, I like that because now it gives you a little bit more walk around room during the daytime. It also allows you to have the ability, like when I'm watching movies in my bedroom, I'm always stacking like four pillows, stealing my wife's pillow, getting my arm smacked, you know, all that good stuff. But now you can kind of lift that up and it's a pretty chill little movie mode. You also have a little bracket right there for a TV. And again, with the plugins, you're also going to notice USBs and outlets on both sides and a really good lighting system there underneath. I mean, look how bright that shines up. It's also going to be the king bed. It's a custom king. It's got the rounded corners, so it's perfect for getting in and out. Emergency exit. And then right over here, you have your fuse box. And then a nice closet and... The shelving is adjustable, plus you do have the washer and dryer prep. But all right, I think that about wraps it up here for the, oh, well, you know what? I forgot to show you this. Uh, viewing window up front, you can shade that down. But then you got a little bit of room for some hanging items as well. But pretty darn cool, really cool floor plan. Let me know what you think. I'm really curious about your input. But again, this is the 2024 Salem FSX 30VC View. A toy hauler with extendable counters, a hidden bunk, and a projector. That sounds pretty darn snazzy. All right, in case you missed it the first time around, uh, all the specifications, length, height, tank size, and awning sizes will be down in the description, along with that link for the pricing. I'm going to take you on a couple minutes here on the outside. Um, starting with the front. You got the fiberglass front cap, which is nice. You're also going to see you get the LED lights running up. You also get... The, the little diamond plate rock guard right here. Power tongue jack, two 20 pound propane bottles, an area where for a battery, one battery is gonna come with it, but you can have a second battery. Uh, you also have the batter, the power disconnect as well. Solar on the side, rated for 20 amps. Well, that is locked, but there is uh, storage there. Heated and enclosed underbelly. And what's interesting too is they actually added uh, the 12 volt um, heating pads that are directly installed onto the tank. So basically what that's gonna do is help you camp, you know, way later into the season, way earlier. So it's just electric heat that goes right onto those tanks and it prevents it from freezing up. You can see you got a really nice size awning that's covering the entirety from the door all the way to the back. I also like how they adjusted the speakers to be a little bit at more ear level when you're sitting down. So you're gonna have a much better sound quality than you would with the ones that are up in the air, just kind of blasting it up and over and around the campground. Solid entry steps, you get a screen door. It's also, yep, friction hinge right there. Dual axle, which I like. You got cable hookup and outlets right here. And there's gonna be your, uh, there's gonna be your jacks. And then again, man, I just love a good old screen patio. Doesn't get much better than that right there. You also have a gate, so that way you can get in and out. You can set up some steps if you would like. So backup camera prepped. Right here is gonna be where you plug in your unit. You have another cable hookup. And then you see those little black marks right there? That's because it is pre, uh, pre it's prepped for a slide topper. So that's gonna be a piece of awning that goes from here to here and it prevents debris from falling on top of your camper. Both of your dump valves, your dumps areas, 
And then this is going to be an outside shower, so that's pretty darn nice. You know, spray yourself off. City water connection, a spray port if you just want a, like a quick connect that's on there for maybe you're cleaning a fish or something. And you got fresh water connection, and uh, yeah. But this is pretty cool. Little access right here. Back end of that on-demand water here, that's Suburban. And then you also have the black tank flush. If you're not familiar with that, it's basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hit that like and subscribe button. Again, I got a lot of good stuff coming out by them. So if you like this, I got non-toy hauler modes, bunks, no bunks, even a prototype. But my name is Hunter, and this is the 2024 Salem FSX 30 VC View. Have a great day. See you.